Good day, you beautiful people of YouTube. It is the Mad Marine here, and today we're going to be talking about the Taurus Judge and a few other of its variants. Um, but first, if you'd be so kind as to subscribe, like, comment, and share, that helps the channel out tremendously, and I would really appreciate it. Um, so let's go ahead and do a quick look and make sure that there is nothing in the cylinder. And as you can see, there is nothing in the cylinder. Now, what are we going to be talking about today? We're going to be talking about the Taurus Judge and it's some of its variants, and what is its real applications? Uh, the best applications I can describe are simply home defense, a snake gun, a range gun. Um, now, this particular one comes in a 45 long Colt and a 410 shotgun shell. Now, the 410 shotgun shells have a bunch of different uh, loads you can use, same with 4570, I'm sorry, 45 long Colt, um, is the correct caliber for that. Um, the barrel length on the judge is anywhere from three inches to six and a half inches, uh, depending on the model. And it comes with a trigger lock, and some people may love this and some people may hate this, but this allows you to lock the um, trigger, basically the hammer, and it will not fire. Um, if you need this because you have maybe kids or um, you're just not that confident, maybe this is a good thing for you, maybe it isn't. Uh, that's gonna depending up to you and your needs. The other thing uh, about this gun that's really nice is it's super easy to load because it is a revolver. Now again, we're talking about the 410 shotgun shell. This is just some federal uh, buckshot. There also is some Winchester called PDX-1. That is a personal defense round that was designed for the revolver uh, shotguns, um, and that may be something for you to look into. Um, there's been some good results with that, there's been some bad results. Uh, there's also the um, 45 Long Colt. Uh, this is a pretty effective round and should be able to neutralize anything you need to neutralize if you, that scenario comes around. Now, some people may be asking, and it has been argued many, many times in other forums and other videos. Is the 410 and the 45 Long Colt and the Judge or any of its other variants effective? I would argue yes, and here's why. Uh, in 2014, Atlanta had a very tragic, a couple tragic instances that happened. In fact, four. Four homeless men were murdered uh, in Atlanta with this. Well, not this particular one, but with a Taurus Judge. It was effective every time. Uh, the victims were found dead at the scene, and they were found dead. They weren't sent to the hospital. Uh, this pretty much killed instantly. Um, so is this weapon effective? In this scenario, it was. Uh, as tragic as this scenario was, I'd like to use it as a life lesson for us to that this weapon can be effective if you need it to. And... Um, Moving forward, I would argue that this weapon is effective. However, um, you know that's up to you. Do your own research. Maybe maybe you'll find that this isn't the right weapon for you. Uh, there are at least four different variant styles of this type of gun. One, of course, is the Judge, which we've been talking about, um, and it runs about four hundred and fifty plus dollars. There's also a polymer-based uh, weapon called the Public Defender. And it has a two-inch barrel and it's usually about $400. Um, and I think that the Public Defender is a little light, which gives it a little more recoil when firing, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend it as much as I would the Judge. There is also what is called the Circuit Judge. The Circuit Judge is a rifled, uh, is a rifle shotgun with an 18 and a half inch barrel. And it's the same thing as this, but it has an 18-inch barrel, goes much long, much farther out, and then has a buttstock that goes out like it would a rifle. Uh, very easy to load, very easy to utilize. Also, Smith & Wesson makes their version of the Judge, and they call it the Smith & Wesson Governor. Um, it gets actually six shots versus the Taurus's only five. Um, however, with that extra one shot, you're paying almost $550, so it's a bigger price point uh, for that extra one shot in the cylinder. Now, the benefits of this gun versus the disadvantages of this gun. I think the benefits I've already stated a little bit, but we'll go over them. 
low skill level, if you're not going to train, if you're not going to, uh, if you don't have the ability to learn something complicated and get comfortable with, then this might be a good option for you in a home defense scenario. Um, the other thing is it's super easy to load, super easy to unload. We can unload and load this super quick. You can clean it super quick. It is very easy and simple to utilize. You don't have to have any high speed load drag skill level to make this thing work, whereas there might be other weapons that are more complicated. Um, and you don't need to be a good shot. Uh, seven yards with this thing with Buckshot or the PDX-1 from Winchester or even Birdshot, you're gonna hit your target. How effective? I can't tell you. Um, I mean, it's just going to depend on your aim and spread pattern, but if you can hold the gun in the general direction, you should be able to hit your target at seven yards with this. That's where most defense scenarios happen, even less sometimes, maybe three. Um, the disadvantages. You're only going to get five to six shots. Your accuracy is nothing guaranteed, but nothing's guaranteed with any firearm anyway. That's going to depend on your skill level and your ability. Um, and then the price point is kind of also negative because this weapon is really starting at 400, 400 plus dollars. There are also other firearms that if you had the skill level, I would recommend before this. If you had more skill and more time to train and be more confident and comfortable with it, then this may not be the best gun. Again, this gun is made for people with low skill level that aren't going to train. Um, it would be my recommendation. So. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you could, please help me out and uh, share these videos, subscribe, that's the biggest thing. Uh, one of the things I try to do to help you guys out is in the description, I always put a link uh, that's a spreadsheet that has other links uh, for uh, finding the best prices, where to buy. And if for some odd reason you happen to find a better price than what I found on the spreadsheet, please email me, and that's also in the description. Uh, my email at the bottom, please email me and uh, I'll add it to the list. Now please add like places that are actually distributors, not like, you know, uh, a personal ad on like uh, some other site or, or you know, a, an auction. That's not what exactly what we're looking for. But we're looking for distributors that are selling, you know, more than one of these firearms uh, are available or in stock. Please keep safe and be kind. Mad Marine signing off.